And you're looking at companies like Delta, Coca-Cola, and a variety of others in, in the state of Georgia, for instance, that really saw a lot of public pressure to come out and say something about these Georgia laws. You know, you can go out and say you're not for certain laws, but are, are these companies going to go further and not back certain uh, campaigns now that they're against these laws? Are they going to start ramping up lobbying? We did a story uh, recently about, about these companies in Georgia. We asked them point blank, are they going to be supporting these uh, lawmakers going forward through campaign contributions after they did in years past? And they did not really commit to doing that. We did the same thing the other day in the key state of Florida where there's also bills that are being proposed in the House and the state Senate. And we asked these companies, some of them have not come out at all to say anything about the Georgia laws, by the way. Some company like Disney, which is very supposed to be family friendly. Uh, we went to them, we said, okay, do you have a response to the bills that have been passed in Georgia? Do you have a response to the bills that have been passed in Florida? And are you going to support these lawmakers going forward? And again, no response. When you look at Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball is one of the companies actually has physically done something. They have moved their all-star game from Atlanta and reportedly are moving it into Colorado. Uh, former President Trump, uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, and many, many other Republican leaders are starting to now respond to these corporations. The irony, of course, to that is that Republicans at the federal level, state level, and beyond have relied on corporate support for years. Forget the campaigns, if you want to put that in the back burner. When Donald Trump was putting together his tax plan, or Republicans in Congress putting together a tax plan, this is in and around 2017, they saw a bevy of corporate support for that plan. But that has shifted in, in the last year or so as Joe Biden became president, as the political headwinds changed. And I think that's where the pressure is coming from. I think it's coming from the consumers. I think, you know, these companies are saying, you know, hold on a minute, you know, are we going to see some sort of you know, protest against our brands, protest against our bottom line that could impact our bottom line. With that said, they are now being put into a position to respond and the Republicans are pushing back and saying, well, hold on a minute, we can boycott you too. Politics has become more partisan um, as, we, as we've seen over the last few years with Trump into the 2020 election and, and you know, the fight between Biden, Joe Biden and, and, and Donald Trump, that it's really created this, this scenario for companies where, yeah, they're gonna have to probably get deeper involved with politics than they wanna be.